Hi guys, my name is Rory Clements. I'm from VMware's end user computing team. And today I just wanted to quickly show you some of the interoperability between AirWatch and Horizon. So what I've got set up here is that I'm sat here on my Mac and I've got my iPad. And I just wanted to show you how I can access applications through Horizon Workspace and also going through an AirWatch managed device. So I'll just go ahead here, I'll fire up the browser. And you'll see here, I've put in my credentials, you'll see actually that this is a branded version of Workspace as well that you can use to put your company uh, branding on to make it look and feel more like it's yours. And you'll see my Workspace pops up and I've got all kinds of different applications on here. So I've got virtual desktops, which are provided by Horizon View. I've got RDS hosted applications, which are also provided by View. Um, I've also got some SaaS or SAML based applications, which are web applications. And I've also got thin apps on here too. And if I had Zen apps, these would be available on the Workspace portal as well. You can see actually if I hover over one of these, I'll get a little information pop up that will tell me what kind of application it is and if I have the required clients or the required device to actually launch it. So let me just launch Word off the workspace here and go into a document that I've already been working on. The application's up and running, it's all, uh, it's all working great. Uh, now I'm going to switch to the iPad and let's see what it looks like from there. So on the iPad, the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead and register this with the AirWatch uh, mobile device management system. So I can go on here. Enroll the iPad through a few quick and, e quick and easy steps, and then you'll actually see from the administration portal that the iPad's enrolled on here now, and I'm ready to manage it. And you'll actually see as part of that process, an application profile which is um, assigned to me is already sending down um, the different applications that I have access to here. You'll actually see that I've got icons on here that look exactly the same as the ones that are on Horizon Workspace. And that's because I can deliver my Horizon Workspace applications via AirWatch's app catalog as well. Now, if there was an application on here that I needed access to that wasn't sent down as part of that profile, I can actually go into the AirWatch app catalog and select it in here and have that assigned to my device too. So you'll see there that my applications are in one place in my Horizon infrastructure, but I can deliver them out with Horizon Workspace or with the AirWatch application catalog as well. So now the shortcut's down, been sent down by AirWatch, the device is fully managed and everything's looking good, I'm going to fire up Word again. And there it is, that's gone off to Cool Word and it's launching it and now that exact same session that I was in is now being brought down to the iOS device as well. And also not only can I access the RDS hosted apps from Workspace, I can also access the iOS applications that I push down through the uh, AirWatch policy as well. And you see also as part of the AirWatch enrollment, I've got the AirWatch application catalog, I've also got AirWatch's Secure Content Locker. Secure Content Locker allows me to securely collaborate and share files with my enterprise. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how to do an enterprise wipe of this device as well from the console. So if I go back into my AirWatch admin console, you'll see there's the device that we registered. I can now go in and do an enterprise wipe. And what that'll do is just remove all the company or enterprise managed shortcuts and software that I sent down as part of the enrollment process. The rest of the iOS device or the rest of the iPad will be completely untouched. So let me kick that off. You see that going and now you see the applications are disappearing off the iOS device and it's effectively now unmanaged. So what I've just shown you there is really the interoperability between Horizon and AirWatch. And so thanks a lot, guys. And if you need any more information, check the VMware website.